Hi, this is Elisa Strada, and you're at Popularity. How do you approach your music? Did you do anything different this time around for the album? This time around? You know, I was more involved this time around. Um, with this album, I wanted it to be more me. So I, I managed to write a couple songs in the album, and I wanted it to be more grown up. You know, instead of that little girl, I yeah. wanted it to reflect more of the woman that I've become because this industry is so it, it makes you grow up pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So I wanted I wanted it to be like more um <laughs> what would you say you're most proud of? Is there anything that you accomplished this time around that you never thought that you'd be able to? Oh my God. Um most proud of you know, I think it would have to be, I mean, all of them, I, I'm so proud of everything that I've done, but I'm most proud of the opening for the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> you know why? I grew up listening to the Backstreet Boys, so so knowing that I'd be sharing the same stage with them and yeah. having their fans sing my songs, it was it was like a dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say are the key challenges that you face during your creative process? Oh, during the creative process and it's challenging. You know, I co-wrote Lipstick, and when I got in the studio, I just wasn't inspired. <laughs> but, but I think that that the whole writing process it was, it was difficult. Like it was definitely a challenge. It's different. I mean, I love writing mm -hmm. uh, because I'm not new to it or anything. It's just there's a difference between writing a good song and a hit song, and that song I tried. I did try, yeah. <laughs> what would you say is the biggest thing that you learned about yourself during the whole creation process? What did I learn about myself? You know, I learned that I could do it. <laughs> I learned that I can write, yeah, because, you know, that was the most challenging part of it all. But I learned that I could actually do it. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely really hard being in a room filled with such talented people and such mm -hmm. talented writers and knowing that you're new at it. But, but I learned that I could do it. <laughs> Uh, what about highs and lows while recording? Highs and lows while recording this album. Um, the highs was when it would be finished, <laughs> like the finished product, and and actually being able to express what you're thinking and feeling, um, and it, it coming across in the music mm -hmm. definitely was a high. And the low, <laughs> it would have to be when it's a challenge, <laughs> when when it's a challenge to sing a line or like. Like sometimes I really want my emotions to come through when I'm singing a song, but sometimes you can't really emote everything, and you really, I really want to be, I want, I always want it to be perfect when I'm singing a line. So, so the, it, the fact that it's not always perfect, <laughs> the fact that you could always have more, it was the low, but, mm -hmm. but you know. Did any song surprise you by taking a different direction than you initially thought that they would? Did any song surprise me? You know, um, there's a song on the album called That Somebody, mm -hmm. and I co-wrote that song as well, and uh, it wasn't, I, w I didn't think that it would be as poppy and as fun as it is. Um, it definitely did surprise me, the finished product. I was like, um, that's not what I was hearing in my head, but you know what, it worked out. Yeah. Creating music is like organizing an accident. What do you think of that statement? <laughs> Really? Who said that? Organizing an accident? You know, it's true. It's actually very true because y you never know what the finished product is going to be. So I think that there's some truth to that. But although you can control a little bit of it, yeah. Do you look at life any differently today with all the success that you've achieved? Do I look at life differently? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think I look at life differently. I, uh, if anything, it's made me more thankful. <laughs> you know, I'm definitely more grown up now. I mean, when I first started in this industry, I was very scared and there was a lot of fear and uncertainty, but now I'm just a little more confident. I mean, that's all that's really changed. Can you describe your attraction to music? Describe my attraction to music. It's sexy. <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> my attraction to music. I love music. Like, it's like I'm exactly at the right place. It's, it's like when I'm on stage, and I hear this music, and I'm like, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be, and I love it. You know, yeah. it's kind of like a relationship music with me. <laughs> I wanted to throw in a couple of tracks and get your initial thoughts. First up, lipstick. 
cover it with lipstick. <laughs> I, I think of the line in my in um, lipstick yeah. because it's all about being a strong woman and covering it, covering up the pain, right? So, cover it, cover it. And you're so Hollywood. You're so Hollywood. I think Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, when I recorded that song, it, it was um, it was actually in Hollywood, obviously, I, and it had a lot. It has a lot to do with how. Hollywood is very different. I thought, yeah, when I was in Hollywood, it, Hollywood is just very different. Yeah. Now that you've been doing music for quite some time, how do you keep things interesting and to want to keep exploring and um, venturing into new sounds and that, that kind of thing? How do I keep things interesting? I listen to other music. You know, there's always new and fun stuff coming out, and so keep things interesting, I, I listen, and and I, I'm definitely trying to be more involved in the music as well, like writing, and the whole creative process, I, I, with my first album I wasn't like that, and now I am, and now it's, it's, it's more interesting, and more fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a song on the album that you like performing the most, or just your favorite song? I love performing with music, <laughs> I do, because it, there's just so, so much emotion that you can come out with, it, with that song. And what would you say has been your highlight of this year, of 2010? 2010, the highlight so far. You know what, I heard a few days ago that I'm going to be on Health Cut. <laughs> and I think so far that is a good start to the year. I mean, end to the year. <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, being on Health Cut is a highlight. Uh, any final thoughts or anything you'd like to say to the readers of Popularity? Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Elise Estrada on Twitter. There you go.